This week, we told you about a 30 percent drop in colon cancer among older Americans because more people are getting colonoscopies. Well, tonight, there's more good news in the battle against the second leading cancer killer. The New England Journal of Medicine is reporting on an alternative to the colonoscopy. Here's Dr. John LaPook. Colon cancer is one of the most preventable and treatable cancers, yet an estimated 23 million Americans do not get the recommended screening. Unlike a colonoscopy, this new test is non-invasive. It screens for cancer by looking for abnormal DNA and minute traces of blood in stool. Patients send in samples without needing to visit a doctor. The test found 92 percent of all cancers. That's similar to the detection rate of colonoscopies. Dr. David Alquist of the Mayo Clinic is the study author and helped develop the test. The hospital has a financial stake in the company that would develop it commercially. The biggest advantage of this test is that it offers a non-invasive approach that delivers very high accuracy. It's our hope that a test like this will increase screening participation. But it's far less sensitive than colonoscopy for picking up polyps finding 42 percent of advanced polyps that were not yet cancerous. Colonoscopy detects up to about 90 percent. So, John, the test not so good at finding polyps, very good at finding cancer, but isn't it already too late once you have cancer? No, and Scott, that's the beauty of screening. Even if a person has already developed colon cancer, if you find it early, there can be more than a 90 percent cure rate, usually by surgery. So the person would have a positive stool test, and then they would need a colonoscopy to find out where exactly in the colon is the polyp or the cancer. Now, the problem is there's about a 10 percent false positive rate. So you can imagine the anxiety in the patient and in the gastroenterologist like myself looking for a lesion that's not there. Thank you very much, John.